Hey everybody, welcome back. Long War, covert operation probably. They might be able to sneak another mission in underneath. No, the operative's ready. Okay, what kind of mission is this one gonna be? Data recovery, that means we should be able to take seven squad members plus our covert operative. Yeah, okay, all is forgiven. And this is gonna be good squaddies, man. Not, not specialists, who previously squaddy was the name of them. This is gonna be like our best squad, which, on the one hand, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't take our best squad, because there's a decent chance they might all die. Um, let's make items available here. On the other hand, I think it's pretty much essential that we take our best squad uh, that's not fatigued, at least with us, to give us a chance to get out of this alive. Mostly because I want to beat the mission and have Egypt not leave the council, get some financial reward, get a little closer to the end of Exalt. Um, but also, yeah, we'll take a... Uh, well, let's stop uh, dilly-dallying here, right? Um... Also, I'd like to rescue the covert operative. So we'll take our best sniper. We have good infantry. We're definitely going to want a, a rocketeer on this mission. It's only a lance corporal, but that's okay. Uh, we're probably going to want a medic. People are going to get shot. Do I really not have a better medic than a lance corporal? I guess, or, yeah, I guess I never take them, so that's probably fair. Um, do we have a gunner? No, the gunner is going to be our go-to individual. Gunner, 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 gunner. There we go. Rosa Lopez or Arthur Tucker. We'll take um, we'll take Rosa Lopez. She has better HP for now. A little bit lower movement allowance, but that's okay. Or a little bit lower aim, I should say. And we could take a second infantry. I actually think that's not a bad idea here. Let's take uh, Malachi Malka. Um, the reason I think a second infantry is the best option here is because I just want to have more shots, basically. So, let's deck people out appropriately, as I am wont to do. Good movement allowance. You'll take a laser rifle, just to keep that aim high, or even make it higher. Uh, as our scout, when we don't have an assault, I know we should be using assaults a little bit more effectively. Um, but that's okay. We'll take a battle scanner, attack armor, laser rifle. Could go attack vest, lose some HP to move further, but I think this is fine, considering we have 16 base movement allowance. Battle scanner, flashbang grenade is pretty good. I don't want to take the sod off. Maybe I do, actually. Yeah, 14 movement allowance is still pretty good. Um, I don't want to take the sod off, or I didn't want to take the sod off so we can keep the movement allowance high, but I do want to take it because we don't have an assault. That's my philosophy on that. All right, DJ Panagakos. Great name. You're going to be using the heavy laser rifle because you can shoot twice. Uh, actually, you know what? You should take the laser rifle because the heavy laser rifle, it's a 15 aim difference. We can use it on our unit that has slightly higher aim. I guess. Um, we want high capacity mags, tack armor, uh, a, a scope. No, we don't want to use the scope. We want to use laser sights because we'll use the scope on the on the unit that takes the heavy laser rifle, which will be Malka. Wow, you're gonna have 89 aim, pretty solid. Um, laser sight carries one movement penalty. Does it? Wait, I, am I missing something? It does. Wow, I did not expect that. It's it's worth it, I think, but um, all right. It's unfortunate. Our sniper, laser sight, high capacity mags. Now, we don't have a laser sniper rifle quite ready yet. Could just give them a laser rifle, but they're better off with this. This is the what we want to keep them outfitted with. Okamoto. I'm pretty sure this is what we want you to take, except I want to give you the laser rifle. Rocketeers. This is the advice that Chronoschism gave me. Um, Rocketeers. All they're going to do is fire rockets. That's what they're good for. If they use their rockets and they're still alive, great, you can use them to shoot. Um, but mostly you're going to put them in a position to use their rocket effectively. You kind of imagine them like a turret that also has a nice little laser shot that you can use. Um, obviously you're going to have a, uh, a laser rifle. I think you're fine with the pistol to not get too bad of a movement problem. You're going to have an extra smoke grenade anyway, so I almost feel like I'll actually just outfit you with like a fl uh, an HE, sorry. So that you can... Um, at least have some grenades. I mean, we haven't taken any other effective grenades so far. Our gunner is going to be taking the Gatling laser. Attack vest to give a little bit more movement allowance. And I do think the laser sight is the most effective with high capacity mags. Because she's going to be a great damage dealer for us. And then finally we have another infantry. And this infantry is going to be a heavy laser rifle with a, a pistol so we get more movement allowance. High capacity mags and our scope. So they're going to have 83 aim with a lot of damage, which is pretty good. Now, I'm noticing a problem with this mission. We have one HE grenade. 
and one flashbang. Um, you're gonna be a scout. You're gonna be. Sh you know what? We probably don't need a battle scanner. I can probably afford to go double flashbangs on this unit because the exalt forces are gonna rush into our area. You're gonna be shooting twice whenever you have the opportunity. You're gonna be shooting always, which means we can probably put you in attack vest. Probably could eat shit on that one, but you're gonna be using rockets whenever possible or shooting Maybe instead of taking two rockets though. I can get away with taking um, Like an AP grenade Yeah, okay laser laser sniper laser 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 laser. Let's do it. I was especially cautious in um, in choosing this loadout because we got totally fucked on our last Egypt mission. This one is a little different though. Uh, Central's never gonna stop talking in this mission, so you might as well just get ready. Why is this mission different? Well, because we're, this is the one where we have to protect the data zone. This is the one that my uh, my game froze on, although it's a different map. Um, I'll let him talk for a second, but I'm gonna take a look at things myself. But if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. Okay. Objectives so we have to protect, uh, preferably, the encoder and the transmitter. Where's our, uh, where's our covert operative? We have one, two, three, four, five, seven there. Where's our covert operative? Um, okay. I think they always start close to the transmitter. Do we not have, uh... I thought there was like a, um, oh, there's one of these right here, okay. So I'm gonna try to actually take a move with our covert operative first, which is kind of risky. But I do it so that I can get close enough um, to actually disable this thing whenever we need to. So I actually almost feel like this dash is pretty solid here. It's gonna take us a while, slash we might never actually uh, get into the proper position to uh, protect that encoding zone. I would love to, but it's kind of wide open, like Breaking Bad style car wash situation here. Um, where's our sniper? Rosa Lopez? No. Martin Becker. There's no roof uh, for you to take advantage of. So I almost feel like you just, you have low profile? You have low profile. All right, you're gonna post up behind this trash can. Steady your aim by the bags of Lay's potato chips. Rosa Lopez, you are a gunner. I want you in a position to use that gun. Hopefully no aliens spawn beside us, but if they do, like on the right side here, if they do, then we can uh, just transition to cover behind this building. For most of our units at least, as infantry. I like this position for you, especially if aliens come from the other side. Hey, look at that, I actually managed to deck out an infantry with, um, uh, I'll put you here for now, uh, with uh, the proper weapon. Aren't I a genius this time? Definitely smart to double check that after that not so great situation with Valorn last time. Alright, very close together. Exalt forces have grenades. We should be cautious of that. <clears throat> so this is what's bullshit. The encoder was so far away that it was almost impossible for us to get there in time to stop this. I don't, we don't see anybody yet, I think. I hear, like, scurrying. All right, well, we're gonna move Shaw forward first. And she's gonna take a very forward-facing position here. All right, so we can easily hack that twice. I think we want some people inside the building if possible. Um, so she's gonna, or sorry, Marcus Wright is gonna come here on this turn. And I think we're gonna, you need to be behind full cover, so I'm gonna put you here. I'm, I feel safe about that. Uh, I would love to have some units on the inside here. Schneider is a medic. Um, I would rather have like an infantry on the inside. So I'm almost thinking we take Panagakos like all the way up to here, but I'm worried that they'll get spotted in the window. I know it's a risky move, but I want to make risky moves here because um, they're already in the encoder zone. Okay, I'm very thankful we didn't see anybody there. And hopefully the same will be true here. Obviously, we can still um, protect the transmitter if we uh, if we end up losing the encoder here. 
I'm actually gonna put you like right here. Um, yeah, we can still protect the transmitter, and I think we have like a really nice building to protect the transmitter from. I don't even know where I, where I like your position to be. Maybe like here for now. But I would prefer to stop them in their tracks at the uh, at the encoder first off. You know, you can probably relate. Yes, sir. Thank you for your uh, subservience there. Has everybody moved? No. Right, come back. Come back. Uh, Lopez. Lopez is our gunner. I would love to have our gunner in a position to do damage. I'm gonna. We're gonna rush them up to here, which is the probably the closest location where I feel safe. Lots of dashes here, but we can be fairly confident the exalt forces are all back over there. All right, so this door is obviously a little scary. <clears throat> this should be interesting. Yeah. Okay. Really, I didn't expect there to be enemies in there. Yeah. Right, can you pick up some uh, eggs and milk on the way home? Oh, there we go. So we had Overwatches here. Ah, uh, yeah, I think they're like, oh shit, we gotta get out of there. Yeah, this is where the exiled forces get a little crazy. And this is just frustrating because there's so many, um... There's so many different units to kind of run or crunch numbers on. So our infantry... Oh, we have one shot here. Two times 48. Well, considering that, um... This is our... Infantry, we might as well take two 48 percenters. That's bad. This is 51 now, for some reason. That's better. Okay. Units that can't shoot twice anyway come next. For example, our field medic. Should probably get behind full cover if possible. Um, like, like here. Has a shot. 32. I think it's worth taking. Big miss. I think I'm being a little too aggressive with my shots again. Ah, you have nothing. Okay, well, let's be safe. On this turn, we'll have uh, we'll have Wright come over here. Looks like a Hack this. Hack this, thank area. you. Um, so that gives us kind of like a free turn to move forward. A little worried about this door here. But as long as we can get a rocket in there next time, I don't mind. Lopez is our scouts, so I can have her move over here. I'm fairly confident we're gonna lose the encoder. You can't shoot and oh, sorry, you're the gunner, not the scout. My bad. Shouldn't have done it that way then. I think we will have uh, Panagakos move forward here. No enemies are gonna be able to shoot on this turn anyway. This is what I was looking for: a, a pod that is a uh, a little bit more robust that we can hopefully break next turn. So we can we ah, we could we could land a rocket in there. I'm actually going to move forward to here. They shouldn't be able to shoot me on the next turn. So I feel like this rocket is safe. How do you have a shot? I don't know. I don't care. We're taking it. It's a hit. So if we can at least wipe out as many exiled forces as is possible this turn, that would be lovely. Maybe we can get a kill. Oh, next turn, I should say. 45% um, chance for the kill or 52% chance for a hit. Uh, 45 is 52 in my book. Come on, Pentagagos. Nice. They... Did I shoot the wrong unit? I think they died. I don't know why it doesn't count it as uh, having killed them. Um, we should be able to sneak up and cause them to not be able to shoot on the next turn by hacking this one as well. Alright, Snake Eyes. No need to use a flash here. Without a shot there, I'm pretty sure you just run in here. And uh, get ready to assault the shit out of them next time. We have to stop them on this turn from getting that encoder. It's, it's scary. We can at least block them if we can just get behind cover somewhere. Oh, they can still throw grenades on uh, turns where they have to reload. I should have probably, you know, thought about that. But, hey, force them to blow through all their grenades, which don't do that much damage anyway. Yeah, many of them are just going to choose to reload. Oh, a few of them are just going to choose to reload. Fuck. Oh, no, 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 Panagakos! Panagakos, this isn't how you do it! I wish that I could just hit a switch and cause that car to fall on him. Okay, Panagakos, you fucked up. You have some shots, we're taking him. 38, 38, those are bad shots. 
Becker. 39. Be my Ted Danson, Becker. That's a good hit. Okay. Lopez with a Gatling laser. 41, 41, 41. Well, she's taking the 41%. I'll tell you that much, because we got to kill some things this turn. Is that a, that's another kill, right? But why don't we... I guess we don't have confirmation that they died, because we don't see. Seems bullshit to me, though. So, we're going to be moving forward and uh, hacking this uh, transmitter again. Kind of a comical level of, uh, of enemies here. But my hypothesis, or my philosophy... The only way out is through. <laughs> what did Winston Churchill, you know, um, when you're going through hell, keep going. We don't want to stop. We want to be smart about it, but we don't want to stop. I, I can't click to hack this. Sometimes I hate this game. There we go. I don't think we're going to be able to get in there. But if we could at least kill as many as possible, that would just make my life uh, a whole lot better. I don't want to get too close because of the obvious, like, grenade issues, but... I think maybe on this turn we get the flanking shot here instead of taking two shitty 38% chances. We can take one 100% chance. I'd rather take the 100 to get the kill. Good. Promotion. Maybe you can aim better without moving next time. Who do we still have? So Schneider as our, um, as our medic. Okay. I'm going to have them in a position where they should be able to stabilize when we finish up with this god-awful situation. So we'll take a shot here. It's a miss, which is not unexpected. Shaw and Wright. Wright actually has a shot. A 74% chance with a pistol. I think it's worth taking. We're not doing anything else on this turn. It's three damage, which is more than you would expect from a pistol shot, usually. Now, they're going to throw grenades or they're going to shoot, right? They can't shoot because I hacked them. If they want to throw grenades, so be it. I'll give you a target to throw grenades at here. You're still going to have to reload. Everybody's got to reload here. That gave us a kill. And if you want to throw grenades this close to your teammates, go ahead. I almost think that this super aggressive gameplay is, is the right way to handle things right now. I think it might be the only way to handle things right now that actually makes sense. This, this looks like a grenade throw to me. No? Okay. Some of these units have already thrown grenades. Oh, you're, you have no idea how much you just fucked yourself. I think we might come out of this okay. I think maybe by being so aggressive, we've kind of broken their lines. That's bad. But we have some flanking shots there, at least. How many? More than I'm happy with. Come on, you can only spawn, like, three. Okay, we got two turns left on that guy. First things first, can we get to another, um, another beacon? Not this turn... Okay, so we gotta we gotta behave accordingly here. No overwatches either. So Barrett Schneider, you're gonna help bail us out of this position. There's just too many exalt forces to even like focus on what's happening. Not dead, but that's okay. Negative ammo. I'm you're not you don't have negative ammo. Come on now. I should have just had the sniper take that shot. Um Negative ammo just doesn't exist. Now as our gunner, you're gonna be extremely important. I'd rather move and shoot. Um so now we'll probably have to get Shaw behind, like, some serious cover. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So, first things first. Panagakos. Um, need to shoot. And then move after. Take the 100%. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, full cover? Yeah, these tires are surprisingly protective. I'm on it, Commander. <clears throat> so that's that turn. Malka. Who are you being flanked by? That unit right there. All right, so I think we take our gunner with our next turn. Rosa Lopez. She has a 97% chance to really make this guy wish that he'd stayed in bed. Mission accomplished, and none of those uh, stray shots even managed to hit our infantry, which is great. Surprisingly. 100% on our first shot here. Could be the kill. 65% crit. Make me, make me happy. You know what? That's fine. You're still making me happy here. You're going to have to reload next turn. That's, uh, nobody's going to be a big fan of that. I promise you that. And what do I, what did I say? You know, the only way out is through. Uh, we do have units behind us, and I really worry about their flanking abilities here. Which should be enormous. So. 
We just gotta protect the encoder. What if we... How far can we throw this flash right now? Far enough to get a double... Uh, double... Double dipper there. Well, we're gonna want you to come over here. Oh, you know what? Run and gun. Keep them from shooting. That should throw them off. It will take oh, ho, ho. To get their communications back up and running. Then we'll slot ourselves in behind this cover. They might throw an HE grenade at me. At this point, I'm just going for broke. 100 is 68, 82. We'll take our 100% chance with a 60 crit. Oh, pretty sneaky. And 79 for the kill with the pistol. Oh, my hero! Okay, this aggressive play is working out very nicely on this exalt mission. Now, Spider, Spider's got nothing. Okay. What if I move you here? You, get, you do have a snapshot. You got nothing. All right, what if I move you back here? You gotta have something in, the, in that garage now. No? All right, well, I assume you will in the future. All right, so now I think we're out of, um, <clears throat> we're out of beacons. So I don't think we're ever gonna be able to uh, force them not to shoot again. But I think we've done our part with what we had. This is fine. We're, that's gonna be the easiest kill of all time. Yeah. Yeah, send more units in there. Okay. Um, so, if we're gonna save Okamoto, they have to be healed this turn. I'm, I don't want to sound, uh, you know, devoid of compassion. Nice hit. Whether or not we want to save Okamoto remains to be seen. Now, unfortunately, um, Malka and oh, Panagakos does have a shot at least. I'm skeptical that we'll be able to kill both of these units is what I'm trying to get at. You can't move and shoot in the same turn. You can get a 100% chance to really fuck that dude's day up though. Um, so I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. We gotta kill these guys. These units have to die. I kind of don't know how we do it, though. Obviously, we're not gonna be in cover if we come out here. But I don't think we're gonna be the number one target for enemies anyway. I think we give it a try. Stabilize. It's number three. Alright, so he'll still live if we get out of this. Now you. We could suppress, but that's not the right play, I think. I think flashbangs make a whole lot of sense here. But if possible, I would love to kill one extra unit in the process. Let's take Panagakos behind this full cover over here. Two shots. 60, 60. Um, let's take this 60. That's a big miss there, actually. Now you... Because basically what I'm thinking is I have to get behind cover. And I think the best way to do it might be to come here and then reload. So I'm going to commit to this. And then what we need to do in order to make this work now is execute like the, the double flash. We have three units left. One's Rosa Lopez. She's going to have to get behind cover in order to make this work. She can suppress though, I think. No, she can't. That's fine. Um, reload, I guess. So, I think I'm going to have you flash you. And then you... I guess move and flash. And then this will be a safe haven that we can use to stop them from getting the encode finished. So we can do like this. I don't like using one flash for one unit. But we gotta keep our units safe here. They still could hit us. It does happen. It's just unlikely. So this is the first turn in a while where we haven't killed multiple exalt forces. And I think they've got to be running out of men, basically. We've got to... You know, there's no doubt. We have to stop this hack. Let's see what they choose to do. We've only got two turns to kill those two units. It's going to be a move. No shot. A reload. It's going to be a grenade, I think. Oh, a rocket. Oh, that's dangerous. Only did three damage. Yeah. The panic resist there is big, too. All right. What about these units? They can do something dirty to me. Um, not gonna have a great shot, I think. Two moves means they won't have a shot at all. And the one moved out of the hack. They both moved out of the hack zone? Okay, so this is the last of the hostile waves, too. I think 
we might have this. I'm still not 100% confident we're not going to lose everybody we love in the process. Yeah, I was going to say how many units are going to pour in here all at once. Okay. I think our most important thing here by far is we have to kill these two units here. Because if we don't kill them, we don't have a safe place to have cover. That hit is important. Uh, and we can either reload or take a pistol shot. But we're going to reload. She's in a relatively safe place. We only have shots on these guys, so we're going to take them. They all have the same crit chance. So we'll take the 100% chance here. Oh, that's a sweet kill. Saves me a lot of heartache. 100%. No crit, but that's okay. They did turn off their hack for one turn, which is like the dumbest. But that's great. Alright, so Shaw's going to come all the way over here. This should be a guaranteed kill. Good stuff. Right can't really do anything except come like right here and land the world's best AP grenade. Four damage. Four damage. Four damage. Ah! Oh! I saw him move his arms and I was like, we got it. We did it. We didn't quite do it. Weapon is out of ammo. Who's our shot on? That's the important thing. 68% chance with the pistol. I don't think we're gonna... Ah, oh, you know what? We can land an HE grenade on this guy. Aye, aye, Commander. Probably should have done this first. Don't hit the car if possible. Like the car next to them. That'll hurt us. I want to not blow up their car. Or sorry, our car. We have a unit behind it. Vehicle Fuck. Online. That's actually a huge problem. Get an 84% chance on this bad boy, huh? Just wound him if you can. Oh, that kill! That makes up for the, the HE grenade disaster. A 66% chance. You've only got one shot here. You might as well take it. Kill confirmed. Okay. They still have one unit left. They can cause me some problems. Oh, big misses! Any, oh, they have, they have two units left. Sorry, my mistake. Still, I don't think they're, they're winning this mission. Oh, yes. Give me the greatest opportunity to use my gunner next turn. And my infantry. Nice snapshot. I believe in you. That should be it, right? Yeah. Okay. That car's going to explode? Yeah! Time-released HE grenade by accident. Let's kill him this turn. I am so ready. 100. 86. I think we'll take the 100. Thank you very much. Oh, sweet baby Jane. The damage is real. Sniper, don't you have a shot? Where you at? Martin Becker, you have a shot. It's an 84. My god. This is a crack team we've got here. Four damage. Rush him down with a pistol or something. I don't care. What about Malka? You got two 68% chances. That should do it. I feel amazing. That's not the end of this mission? Uh, okay. Tell you what. Reload. Uh, reload. Tell you what, you should probably reload. Got a feeling that you should uh, maybe get behind cover, change weapons, and maybe uh, reload. You should probably... Uh, you don't have to reload? Is everything okay in the world today? You'll overwatch. Isn't, it, isn't this the end of the turn? There's one more. Shut up. Listen. Oh, I heard some footsteps. Okay, listen. Don't blow it here. You're at the end. Just, just handle your shit appropriately here. If we just have to kill one more exalt force, should be very, very simple. If we have to kill one more pod, we're gonna want everybody on the squad to be ready for this. I'm dashing them all up here because I want them to be ready to like open flash and then people run in and flank. So I'm going to move you over here and then have you reload. Just in case you'd have a shot for the next one. Uh, we'll have Lopez take position over here. Can't move and shoot on the same turn. But this is more forward facing at least. Uh, 
Panagakos. You can at least come here and maybe have a shot when we open this door. And Malka, you're going to be able to uh, maybe see when we get this door popped here. I hear footsteps still. Let's pop this open. I know we didn't steady weapon on everybody. Okay. Uh, operative comes out first. There's one more pod. This is okay, though. Oh, you you poor bastard. You have no idea. So we have one more uh, thing that we can hack here, so I'm obviously going to pop that right away. Even if it takes me ten rotations here to get into a position where I can actually click on it. There we go. Alright. Now! Panagakos doesn't have a shot. That surprises me greatly. 100% chance to hit. That'll be an easy choice. The crit didn't quite finish the job. That's okay. It's a one-for-one one shot, which is um, which is great in my book. 99. If that missed, I'd be mad. If, it was too bad we didn't get that first crit. Or that crit on the first try, I should say. Um, so Schneider has a 77% chance here. I would prefer to be behind full cover like this way. Better shot. 87 now. And that crit is going to finish the job. Becker doesn't have a shot, but if I go... There's no way they are going to have a shot, actually. I think actually an Overwatch might be best there. I'm going to dash uh, our gunner out here. It's unlikely they'll be able to move and shoot in the same turn. They need a, a snapshot whenever it'll be possible to make it, that happen. Um, but now is not the time for that. Hopefully they'll level up here. Same thing pretty much for Panagakos here. He's going to get ready for the next turn. Now, Shaw. Uh, I like the idea of like a full cover flashbang here. Could get on the roof. Full cover flashbang is a little dangerous, though. You don't have a flashbang left. I wish I could transfer my flashbang to you. Um, so, like, this full cover is pretty good, but I could be easily flanked. Is there any chance? I'm just looking at like the the diameter of this thing. Is there any chance we can get two of them in the same flashbang? Probably not. So I actually think we just overwatch this turn and we kind of rush them down next turn. And you know what? You're gonna hunker. Best to be safe. Uh, actually, oh, you know what? They can't shoot this turn. I should have been more aggressive. They can throw a grenade though. So I'm actually gonna have our, our operative fall all the way back, just so that they're not in, in danger of getting hit by a grenade or something. Yeah, I figured that they would take some moves inside, and that's going to make my life easy. It's not like they're going to throw a grenade at me. Overwatch trap totally got the job done. Great uh, great crits there. And we have one more unit left, which should make this very easy. This Exalt mission went way better than I expected. Sure, Okamoto is going to be gravely injured for like 45 days. That sucks. But uh, we'll live. And I think my gunner trap did work. It totally worked. Yeah, th thank you for sparing us from actually seeing that. <laughs> that was pretty violent. No operatives lost, 19 Exalt forces dead. Oh, oh, the juicy experience. We only blew up one of them, too, I think. Our Rocketeer died too early to be useful. Oh, that's sweet and beautiful right there. All right, despite being killed before doing anything you leveled up, we're going to give you Snapshot. Rosa Lopez, our scouts. No. Our gunner. Okay, so we want her. Ranger would be good. Heat ammo, though, I think is the most important thing. Shredder ammo. Any unit hit takes additional damage from all sources for the next four turns. Hmm. I think I'm going to take heat ammo, though, because I know how dangerous, you know, sectopods and stuff like that can be. Mectoids, etc., etc. Uh, your infantry. So we can use suppression, but we'd never use suppression on you because you'd be too busy shooting at a target that you can see. So I think I'll give you... Um, Aggression to really up your crit chance. That would have been very useful on a mission like that one, for example. Uh, you are going to take Ranger, I think, is the best for a unit that's going to be shooting as much as you are. And we have uh, Ranger, Low Profile, or Sprinter. Sprinter does seem useful, I'll admit. But I think a Low Profile on a Scout seems awesome. So I can be way more aggressive about putting them in not necessarily the best position. Nice. Uh, and Wright got promoted, deservedly so. We'll do Close Combat Specialist. Two Meld and some Exalt Intelligence. Well, that was an intense mission. Um, let's see if our uh, satellite gets finished. It is. So we're going to uh, Situation Room launch that satellite in the UK. 
uh, we should probably start building some new facilities. So we, we are going to need an uplink. Um, genetics lab is for meld. Ooh, maybe we should get that done sooner rather than later, though. Does it have an adjacency bonus with a laboratory? It does. Okay, so I'm going to build a genetics lab. It's going to cost a lot. Can we build an uplink, like, here, though? We need 200 credits. We can make that happen. I can do that. Situation room. Visit the great market. We need 68. 68. Um, can we do anything with the exalt guns that we got? 68. I really don't like selling some of this stuff. Especially because if you sell the corpses, you can't use them for um, requests. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't love it, but it's got to be done. This isn't going to be a foundry project either. Why am I putting the uplink here? So that we can put a nexus in the middle after I research it. Alright. I'm very, very pleased with that mission. Large UFO. We can't, what are we going to do? Ignore contact. Please don't shoot down my satellite. We're not going to go to our large UFO either. Ignore that one. We're not ready yet. Sorry, France. Commander, our failure to respond to the latest Oh, relax. Sure They're not going to leave. We've got satellite coverage. Alien abduction in Egypt, man. Crazy panic. Heavy alien activity, but I'm ready for it. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, I enjoyed that episode a lot. We're definitely going to confirm and, and go on this mission. Uh, and we're going to take really good soldiers on it as well. Uh, if you did enjoy the mission, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.